Hi again, Dyson, and welcome to your maths lesson today. It's Thursday. OK. Here we go. Get your paper and your pen, pencil. Um, write the date at the top of the page and then answer these three questions for me. Pause me now and do that. Well done. OK, hopefully you've answered all three of those questions. Today, our learning objective, my turn, your turn, is can I compare height? Fantastic. So this is very similar to comparing length, but there are some words that we can use to help us compare height. Here we go. My turn, your turn. So small. Smaller. Smallest. Fantastic. And tall. Taller. And tallest. Fantastic. And same. OK, so. Let's have a look at all of these people. Who is the tallest? Is it this lady here? Because she's at the top of the page, isn't she? And when we're comparing, um, when we're comparing height, we're comparing the thing that is up at the top, the tallest thing. Is it this lady here? No, I don't think that's right. When we were comparing length, we had to line everybody, everything up, didn't we? Hmm. Do you think it might be the same thing, but for height instead of length? Hmm. I think you're right. Let's line everybody up and make sure they start at the same place. Here we go. Now we can easily compare who is the tallest. So, aha, I think that this lady is the tallest. What do you think? Fantastic. OK, let's have a look. Who is the shortest? Now, Again, it's very difficult to compare, isn't it, when, hmm, when they're all jumbled about like this. If we compared them like this, this lady would be the shortest. But we know that's not right because we know she's the tallest. Now, what do we need to do? Can you tell me? Oh, yes, yes. We need to line them up and make sure they all start at the same place. So here we go. They are lined up. Now, this lady was the tallest, wasn't she? Now, who is the shortest? Hmm. I think that this little boy here is the shortest, isn't he? Yes. What do you think? Am I right? Yes, you are right. This little boy is the shortest. OK. Here is your work for today. Can you find three things that are taller than you? OK, and take a picture. Remember, though, I need you to make sure they are lined up and they all start in the same place. So if you're stood on the floor, all of the things that are taller than you also need to start on the floor, okay? The second challenge is, can I find, can you find three things shorter than you? And take a picture. So that means they need to be shorter than you, but they also need to start in the same place. So if you're standing on the floor, standing up straight, which you should be if you're measuring people, then they also need to start on the floor. 
okay remember to take a picture so i can see that those things you're measuring are starting in the same place as you so you're going to find three things taller than you and three things shorter than you and take a picture and put them on tapestry okay um come back for the next slide okay here are two more questions for you to answer. I'd like you to write the number one and two underneath the starting questions that we did today. The first question is which tower is taller? You either write blue or green next to the number one. Pause me and do that now. Okay, number two is which tower is shorter? you either write blue or green next to the number two. Pause me and do that now and then come back for the challenge question. Well done. Okay, here's the challenge today. A long brick, so one of these brown ones, is twice the length of a short brick. So it's twice the length, it's double the length. Which is longer? Two long bricks or three short bricks? Three long bricks or five short bricks? So that's two questions. Do you see that? So let me just write the number one there. The number two there. Oh, make them a bit smaller. Okay. So this is number one and this is number two. So which one is longer? Two long bricks or three short bricks? And then number two, which one is longer? Three long bricks or five short bricks? OK, remember that a long brick is twice the length of a short brick. OK, that's quite tricky today. So maybe talk to your mum and dad and see what they think. And you can talk about it together to figure out the answers to question one and two. OK. Well done, Dyson. Fantastic work today in maths. Remember to post all that work onto Tapestry for me to see. OK. See you soon. Bye.